In the last video, I got started talking about Heroes of Might and Magic 2 and covered most of the game. Like I said, there's still more ground to cover. To start, there are more map locations to visit. To name a few, there are the Elemental Shrines, which allows the Elementals to be recruited, the Foundry, which upgrades specific creatures, Borrow Mounds, which allows ghosts to be recruited, yeah, you can recruit ghosts after all, but only if you have the expansion. Good luck finding one. While on topic of more things, there are more artifacts this time and more categories. The spell artifacts affect the spells a player is carrying, be it making a spell stronger or making a particular spell worthless. Resource artifacts now include adding one crystal, sulfur, mercury, or gems to that player's treasury. If that's not enough, having the expansion now adds even more artifacts. You get the idea. One downside is that, on larger maps in particular, there is a chance of duplicate artifacts. Can you imagine going into battle with two Dragon Swords of Dominion? Weird. Before I forget, on infrequent occasion, an artifact may appear in a treasure chest. To wrap up the artifacts, there are four more ultimate artifacts. What they are is a mystery. Spells this time around don't work the same. Instead of relying on how many times you can cast a spell, you now have mana to keep an eye on. That's where the knowledge skill comes into play. Your mana is represented by your knowledge times 10. This also reduces the number of times going back to town when you run out of magic. So when you need mana... You need to visit a magic well, or have mysticism at a pretty high level. I know I'm going through a lot, but there is a lot of ground to cover. And the cherry on top is the wisdom skill. To make a long explanation short, you need wisdom to cast higher level spells. Combat for the most part remains unchanged, but sieges now add moats and turrets. Moats stop any unit, making them vulnerable to attacks, while turrets add extra firepower. Captains act as a hero of sorts when a hero isn't present. Before it slips my mind, the ballistic skill also factors in siege combat. Meaning that the catapult can make a difference in terms of accuracy, damage, and number of shots launched. Phew, that was quite a task. Heroes of Might and Magic 2 Gold is pretty much the first game but improved. This game gets... Nappy. I haven't had visitors in a while. Can I help you? This is for you. Have a nice day, sir. Are you freaking kidding me? Dear Ken, this is a lawsuit my client is presenting to you for what you did during your Xenophage review on May 30th, 2019. He is suing you for emotional distress for a sum of $5,000. My client is giving you one week to respond. Failure to do so will result in new ownership of your YouTube and Twitch channels. What? That game sucked. It had every right to be destroyed. And that was eight months ago. Heroes 2 gets four and a half stars out of five. One thing I didn't mention is that the soundtrack for the towns in Heroes of Might Magic 2, the Succession Wars, and the Price of Loyalty are different. Take a listen and see which you like better.